Hey everybody, Kevin Kramer here for DrawingColoring.com and in this video I am going to tackle drawing glasses. I've had a few requests for these and they can actually be pretty fun once you can kind of get some ideas down about how they need to be suggested. Because glasses are pretty much just like anything else when you're drawing. The more you can suggest that they're there, the more that they'll actually look like they're there. Not one size fits all whenever you're going, when you're approaching them. So it's a, it's, it's a fun thing to draw. So I want to help and get those all straight down for you. So let's jump right into it. All right, so as you can see, I have some, you know, some just some basic, uh, frames here that I've drawn. I found some images from uh, the internet, just did a quick Google search and found some quick sketches that I did. And if you really, what you need to, some key points to take in whenever you're drawing glasses are, they're actually on a head. You know, whenever you're drawing a head, you want to take into the, the same considerations that it's three dimensional. It's wrapped around a head and they're actually sitting they're not just, they're actually sitting on a 3D head. So whenever you're drawing them, you're gonna have to take into account perspective and uh, lighting. So whenever you're doing that, one easy way to do that is to just kind of draw out some, whenever you're drawing a head, it's really easy to do that if you just draw some guidelines. So if I was drawing a head, I would just draw a quick head and depending on how or what angle, let's just do this angle. Oh, a little cut off, but draw a little darker so you can see. Pull it down. So as you can see, there's the head right here. That would be the general shape of the head. And then what you need to do is take into consideration that this is a 3D object. So if you can draw some guidelines of kind of how those are going to sit, you can see that if you know where the ear is, if you look at the, the drawing faces tutorial I have, you can see where to find these lines for the ear and the, the brow line, the nose line, and uh, the chin line. So once you have those lines down, you can draw in some really rough guidelines for where the ear piece would go. You can even draw in the very top. You can draw in the bottom. And this is sort of looking like a, maybe a Cyclops visor, but as you can kind of see how it fits in there once you get and take into account perspective. And obviously these are just some pretty rough, kind of even cartoony uh, glasses, but you can see how it fits and works its way in there. So that's the basic idea of the perspective that you need to take into account. You need to really get into drawing the head first thing more than any, before you start adding accessories or anything to it, I highly, highly recommend that you learn how to draw a head proficiently and at different angles. Because once you get that, you can put anything you want onto it and it'll be in perspective and it'll look correct. So. As you can see, I can, I can just turn this into a cartoon guy if I really wanted to, and that, and you know, taking, there's the ears, and then you go. There's the, the glasses fit on his head. They look like they're wrapped around his head, and they are in the correct perspective. So, with that. I like to go into the different types of styles because once you get the perspective, then it's really about how to suggest that they're actually uh, glasses being portrayed in the image. And if you've seen any images, there's uh, a few rules people might have like don't add reflections or do do this or don't don't make them so hard lined and all of these other things and. Those are all correct, but in certain cases. You know, whenever I draw glasses, I usually draw them because I want to add interesting depth and make the picture more just, you know, just more dynamic. And I actually have 
um, a friend who did an entire series of images which really, really demonstrate this. And you can, you can check him out at craigcundiff.com and check out, he has a gallery, it's called the, if you go under works, it's called Hipsters. And there, he has some really awesome uh, images of drawings with glasses, with reflections and things like that. So getting into that, there's different times when you wanna suggest more and you know just deliberately draw it out what you want to do is if you want to have a really dynamic image then you know go ahead draw all the reflections and you can even use the reflections in the glasses to take in uh, more of the scenery and build up your images that way so that's one way to do it another way is to not add any reflections at all and that is going to be good for uh, you know just some nice framed glasses you want to have a nice portrait it looks clean and refined you're not trying to go for an edgy type of look and that as that works just fine that that works with uh, the perspective the the same way that I would draw on the head is the way I would draw those nice and clean harder lines and not really worry about the suggestion of the lines now with some of the other glasses, they don't really have, they'll just have the, the molding up top, but they don't have anything on the bottom. They're just open glass or an open frame. Now those are gonna be the times when you wanna just suggest that the, the bottom of the glass is there. When you draw a hard line there, that's when you start to get cartoony. And that's really what I see most people doing is the lines are too hard whenever they're drawing anything. If you want to keep a hard line, just a good rule of thumb whenever you're drawing glasses, if you want to do hard lines, keep them at the top of the glasses. Don't put them anywhere else. Because that's really where the main light and shadow are going to come from anyway in most of your images. So if you can keep the top of the frames, the darkest lines, everything else will be a lot easier to suggest and get down. So with those styles in mind, I figured I'd go ahead and give you a quick demonstration of you know, kind of how to get the um, perspective, keep them even. I know a lot of people have problems with drawing each side evenly. That's also something that happens when you're drawing the face, which again, I said if you can't draw a face very well, you want to start there before you add any accessories. So here I'm going to give you a quick little demo of how I would go about uh, drawing a pair of sunglasses on a face that is looking directly at me. So the challenge here is obviously going to be each side needs to be um, equal and you know just in good perspective. One side can't be bigger or smaller than the other and the lines just need to be clean. So it's pretty simple. What I've done here, what I would suggest you do and whenever you're drawing any kind of uh, hard lined objects or designs in your images is to draw some guidelines. What I usually do is start with the height where I want the top of it to be and then I'll choose the bottom height and that will give me a nice solid guideline or framework to work in and basically carve out those shapes and that helps you keep the image a lot cleaner and it helps you keep the perspective and sizes in check because you already uh, basically have a frame or a guideline. And you know, you can, you can even sketch this out even more blocky if you want. As time goes on, you won't need to, obviously. All right, so let's go in first. And what I usually start with is I'll use the top line as the top of the frame, obviously. So in my image here, there's no dip in the actual nose piece. It just goes straight across. It's kind of one of those Kanye type of glasses. So what I really am gonna just start with is the nose. And one way to do that is to um, just look at the, kind of eye it up. It doesn't need to be perfect, but you can do it a little more so than usual. Um, but I'd say the 
generally the nose piece is going to go up a little more than two thirds of the way. So you can go start your kind of a midline here and do about two thirds of the distance and then just kind of start carving out the nose section. Just get those general shapes, get that nose shape down. And you know, you can even do more guidelines if you want. If you want to find the middle of each frame, you can do that. Make sure you hit those points as you go around. And then just carve it out. Just take, just take the lines with you and carve them out. And the more points you can make for reference, the easier it'll be to keep those points and all of the shapes in line. And you can kind of see here, they're all kind of, if you want to go below the line, you can go below the line. If you want to stay on top, you can do that too. But once you have the top and the bottom established, you're basically just carving out shapes and it makes it a lot easier to get them down. Let's see, we'll just go around here. And then you can even kind of solidify this line. And you can already see it's, it's looking like a pretty decent pair of glasses here. And then these have the little uh, ear holder thing built in. So we'll just go ahead and draw those in. And it's usually slightly above the nose piece. And you can see that coming together pretty well. And you know, you don't have to do perfect lines every time. You can always clean them up later. Most, most artists and concept artists do anyway. So don't even, if you think you're messing up, then you're really being more professional than you think you are. So just get a rough sketch and then fix it later. That's really the key to getting a good drawing. Sketch out the rough parts, get a rough idea of the way you want it to look, and then clean it up after you've got everything in its right spot, all the lines clean, and the way you really want it to look. So that's really, the main outline of the frame is really, I find, the hardest. Once you get in, once you get that down, you really just gotta follow your own contour lines and draw from there. And, you know, you can spin the paper around if you want to make these a little easier. I'm kind of just going through it a little quick for you so you can get an idea of how to kind of really just get this down pretty quick. And now you can add reflections in here if you want. If you don't, you don't have to. If you have an open frame glass, if you're drawing sunglasses, usually you're going to go, you might, you'll add some more reflections. Maybe even uh, the frame that's going on their face is going to, more the shadows and reflections with regular eyeglasses are going to be more apparent than when you're drawing sunglasses. You can stick to reflections when you're doing sunglasses and just leave out the reflections when you're not. You might have a little glare here and there with regular glasses, but that's really about it. So again, we're just going to go in, follow these contour lines. Again, just following, not even, you don't have to make them perfect. But the key idea is to draw and use frameworks. You, the more you can use a framework or some kind of, um, kind of scaffolding, if you will, for the actual thing that's being built on the page, the better off your perspective will be, the better off your drawings will be, and overall just the more accurate they'll be because you'll be using a framework and working within that. So as you can see, you can draw little reflections or whatever you want in there. You can make them all kind of trippy or kind of just smooth them out, make them nice and smooth, whatever you want. If you want to get one of these little 
things here, just kind of blend it in. It's a good way to do reflections and stuff like that in there. But as you can see, the glasses look pretty solid for just a few seconds of sketching. And then I can take a darker pencil. I use the, the H pencil whenever you kind of sketching out things, it makes it a lot simpler. And then you can always go in with a darker or a harder lead, or a softer lead, I should say, and just like a 7B or a 6B, 8B, and then just really start to go in and refine the lines and really bring out the, the structure of the drawing. Because that's really where it starts to pop. When I started drawing with my pencil and then inking them with an ink pen, that's when I really started to see my images really start to come alive and even have more depth because they're just, the pencil behind it not only has more depth added to the ink, it adds to the ink, but the drawing itself is just, it's more dynamic and it pops more. So there you go. There are a uh, pair of glasses in perfect perspective, each side pretty damn equal, and it took less than a few minutes. So I hope this helped give you some idea of what you can do, how to take, how to take, to look at them from the perspective of they are three-dimensional and they're actually on a head, and how to use perspective to get them. So if you have any other questions, you want to see another demonstration, or maybe have them. Uh, a little more accurately put on a head. Just uh, leave a comment below. I'll I'd love to hear from you. Have a, see what you have to think. If you haven't subscribed, go ahead hit that subscribe button. And you can always check out more uh, shading techniques and drawing techniques on uh, drawingcoloring.com or shadingmasters.com. So I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you in the next one.